Hey, uh, what's up? I just wanted to make a quick video updating you on a feature I implemented in one sitting. So this is a, a one sitting feature. Crazy. Ah, now it's letting me... Strange. Anyway. Alright. NetBeans actually discontinued support of the Swing application framework. Just so you know. Bummer. So I'm switching my program over to the NetBeans platform, which is going to be a pain, but once it's over there, it's going to be beautiful. So anyway, this is the prison view. I guess I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Prison as in captured pieces. So do, 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 when we capture a piece, we've got a pawn there. If we do it again, we've got a two. So that's what the prison view is doing. And it just, you know, keeps a counter. Uh, there you go. I'll show you how. I guess I'll just capture as many pieces as I can. Capture that. And that. And that. And that. So as you can see, it's nice and neat. Um, the pieces are kind of jaggedy. I had a nice scaling algorithm that I was using, but for some reason on uh, Linux platforms the uh, blur image function works just fine. It just it rescales it and it blurs it and it, you know, it, the image looks great. On Mac the thing turns red. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you. This is the function Oh no, it's actually, I switched all of my um, image stuff into one image holder class. It's a static class, and all the other classes just ask it for certain images. But here is the, the resize trick, right? It resizes, it blurs it, and resizes again, and it's a really nice effect. If I uncomment out the, the, this code, we get this red, right? And I do not know why. So it's useless for me to go through looking for bugs in the blur image function because I mean it works on other platforms and it doesn't here I'll go ahead and load it you can see all of the the translucent red pieces why the kernel does add up to one right it was a this blur kernel and maybe I'll switch back to the original kernel but I don't even think that that that'll affect it because yeah that just makes it almost completely transparent oh because it was 2-2 two, two. maybe if we put this at 3-3 three, three, maybe that'll work nope it's just red again so what's the deal does anyone know anything about Java image processing and why it would work differently on separate platforms I mean I've been getting this warning that um, it doesn't, which function does it not like? It doesn't like um, buffered image graphics config. This, it doesn't like this. This right here. So maybe I'll, I'll try to figure it out. But anyway, just thought I'd let you know that I implemented the captured pieces view. Oh, I didn't even uh, show how it works. That was the idea of this video. Okay, so we have the prism view class its implementation is all wrapped up in the, just this view class so for better or worse that's probably worse I'll have to switch it later anyway we've got our um, we've got a bunch of rectangles so the way the view works if you can see it, it's just um, a 5 by 2 10 by 2 yeah it's a or 5 by 1 you know block and in each of the rectangles within it, um, in the paint component method, so you can see, yeah, we draw our two layers, we did, and we write to the layers in the update layers function. So what this class does is that this is just calculating all of the rectangles. You can pause the video and look at it and try to see what it's doing. I'm not going to go over it. Okay update layers 
this is a function that really does it. So when someone calls set captured pieces, we update layers and we repaint. So the controller is going to be calling this function. So we have a new set of pieces that are captured. We clear our image layers if they're not null. And we go to the update layers function. And all this function does is iterates it iterate first well first okay so if it's our first run we have to initialize all this stuff and for some reason I couldn't do these things in the constructor so I'm doing them here because in the constructor though when the panel didn't have a width or height yet that's what it was and then we set first paint equal to false and this never runs again these are all counters so white pawn counter white knight counter white bishop counter black bishop counter black rook counter etc um, so we iterate through the set if the piece is white and then we have the same thing for if it's black the reason I actually have to separate it out because there's different rectangles for all of them so if it's white if it's a pawn ask the image holder class for a pawn image for a white pawn image and draw it in the correct rectangle and implement and increment the pawn counter it's the same for all of these we increment these counters and then by the time we get down here if the counter is greater than one we draw the number so this function takes an integer no it takes a layer a buffered image an integer and a rectangle and it um, draw counter into layer it draws it I did do some research to figure out where exactly it considers the origin it's actually the bottom right to, to get it to, to get it to draw on the bottom right but Anyway, that's the uh, the captured pieces view. Thanks.